you you mentioned a little bit about what Red Hat's investing into uh, Chase. So I know that they've t- taken the project and they've productized it into something called Code Ready Workspace. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we have that's Code Ready Workspaces. We have released it um, about uh, one year ago, one year and a half ago. We have done the first release of Code Ready Workspaces that is based on uh, on Eclipse Che. Mm-hmm. What uh, what's different about the the product and the project? What has Red Hat added to it to to bring it to market? So, the there are not a lot of differences, um, mainly because everything that is required for our customers on Code Ready Workspaces, we first uh, build it on the Eclipse Che uh, project. So if there is a new feature request, we uh, instead of uh, only building it, implementing it for Code Ready Workspaces. We first implement that on Eclipse Che, and then we we downstream it to uh, Code Ready Workspaces. So that means that most of the features, uh, uh, so all, all of the feature uh, mainly um, of uh, Eclipse Che will be found on uh, Code Ready Workspaces. Code Ready Workspaces has a couple of uh, things uh, differences. First is is that is uh, it everything is based on Red Hat images, so the base images of the containers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Tia, for example, will run on a Red Hat uh, based container. Uh, so and every all the tools, plugins, so the, the language support will all run in sidecars. They will actually be uh, Red Hat containers, and that is important because that means that Red Hat will be able uh, to provide support for those because that's something that we control completely so we'll, we'll build uh we'll build from every every bit of the of those containers so we are we, we control everything that is in those containers mm-hmm. so that makes it possible uh, so to have the support so the support the support is of course the second uh difference that a customer has if they choose to uh to use code ready workspaces mm-hmm.